Hi, I've got something very new and special that I'd really like for you to see. It's a video about satisfying the customer called Doing Whatever It Takes. Now you're probably wondering, what does Michael Jordan know about satisfying the customer? Well, let me tell you, when I step onto the basketball court, those 18,000 screaming people aren't just fans. They are my customers. They want to see more than just a basketball game. They expect to see a show. No matter what kind of day I've had, when I put on that uniform, my customers expect behind-the-back passes, long three-pointers, or great slam dunks. It's my job to deliver it, and I love it. When you put on your McDonald's uniform, your customers want more than just quick service with a smile. They expect to be treated as a guest in your home. And if you hadn't had the greatest of days, it's up to you to put on a show and do whatever it takes to satisfy your customer. The video you're about to see will show you the difference between good service and great personalized service we all must give our customers. And it will take you behind the scenes to show you how your video is actually made. So let's see what it means to satisfy your customers by doing whatever it takes. Tape's rolling. Everybody set? Slate, please. Take one. Dolly, and action. Thank you. Come again. Hi, how can I help you? Whoa, cut. Hold it. Excuse me. Jim. Come on, that's the wrong line. Help me out here. You're supposed to say, hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? That's the way you always say it. Oh, Dave, sorry, but that's my fault. Well, I was talking to Jim a little bit earlier, and he said that he was feeling really stiff having to say, welcome to McDonald's, welcome to McDonald's, over and over again. So I told him what we tell our people all the time. Uh, say what feels natural, but say it with a warm, sincere smile. I thought it was great. Well, you're the real manager here, Barb. You should know. <laughs> I'm just not used to... Letting the actors change the lines. Oh, I understand. Believe me. I used to be the same way when it came to letting the crew people think for themselves. Uh, uh, say, everybody, uh, take a quick break, okay? What do you mean? Oh, well, you know we have our operations and training manual. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like your script. It, sure, sure. It tells us how to do things the right way at McDonald's. Well, I used to insist that all of my team do everything strictly by the book. I mean, everything from the way they greeted the customer to how they took the order and so on. Well, I started to notice that everybody seemed a little stiff. I mean, really inflexible in the way they were serving the customers. And the customers weren't uh, particularly responsive either. Mm. So. I decided that I really needed to call a meeting. I needed to talk about this. <laughs> right, Lisa? You were part of the team, man. Well, yeah, yeah. We kicked it around, and everybody agreed. And we just didn't feel natural constantly repeating the same thing. So we decided to lighten up a little, like, a, like ad lib a bit when we were serving people. And it worked. It really did. People's personalities started to show through. I mean, they, well, they really started to have fun. <laughs> And the customers, they really enjoy being treated like individuals, too. You know, that really makes sense. It's like, well, I know that actors sometimes need to ad-lib a line or two. It makes their performances more natural. But I just don't want to violate any McDonald's operating procedures. Oh, well, no, don't worry about that. Our procedures are mostly in the areas of work routines and methods. And those have been developed throughout the years to make us work more efficiently. But when it comes to how we treat our customers, well, we want to impress them with our friendliness, our service. And we can't do that if we come on like robots, right? <laughs> well, sure. OK, let's uh, try that scene again. And this time, everybody loosen up a little bit. OK? Places, everyone. Take two. OK, everybody, the entire scene now. Dolly and action. Thank you. Come again. Hi, how you doing? May I take your order? Yes, uh, how about a filet of fish, uh, hmm, french fries, and a small Coke, please. Will that be a large fry, sir? Yes, please. For here? Yes, for here. All right, your total comes to three nineteen. I'll be right back with the order. Thank you. And cut. All right, look good to me. How about you, Barbara? Mm-hmm, it's looking better. Better. <laughs> well, it, it still seems a little stiff to me. Yeah. Uh, now, I like the opening, and then it starts to get a little formal. Hmm. Uh, 
Now, maybe, could your customer be a little more normal? Normal? Yeah, uh, maybe a little less polite. Oh, okay, okay. Mr. Customer, this time... Take three. And action. Thank you. Come again. Hi. What can I get for you today? Yeah, I want a filet of fish, french fries, and a small Coke, and nothing else, okay? Well, will that be for here to go? Oh, no. What's wrong, Lisa? When a customer comes on strong like that, we, we've really got to handle him with, with kid gloves. Yeah. People like that are almost always looking for a fight. <laughs> That's true. Like they say, turn the other cheek. Now, the next time this guy comes in, he could be one of your nicest customers if you treat him right today. You're right. Makes sense. Got that, Jim? Let's try it again. And action. Thank you. Come again. Hi, what can I do for you today? Yeah, I'd like a filet of fish, a small Coke, and a fry, and nothing else, okay? Is that a large fry? I said a small fry. Well, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't hear you. Is that for here? Yeah, it's for here. All right, your total comes to 278. I'll be right back with the order. And cut. Great. Well, what did you think? That was a lot better. You know, sometimes it takes that little bit extra to avoid confrontation. Right, Lisa? Oh, boy, does it ever. But it's worth it. Okay, let's set up for the next scene. Now, the action here is, Jim, you're taking this lady's order. And you're going to ask a special favor of Jim, and that's just the way I want it to sound. Like you're, you're almost reluctant to ask. Okay? All right, background people, keep that energy up. Roll tape. And speed. Slay him. Take one. And action. Hello, what would you like today? Well, I'd like a medium Coke and a Big Mac for here, please. Would you like a medium fry with that? No, not really. But I don't suppose it's possible for them to put a slice of tomato on that Big Mac, is it? Yes, ma'am, it certainly is possible. It'll take just a moment, is that okay? Of course. Great, that comes to 253. I've got your Coke. Thanks. We'll get your Coke now. You can find a seat and we'll bring your Big Mac out to you. Thank you. And cut. Nice. Uh, Barbara, can I ask you something? Sure. Now, I understand the scene, but are you sure you want to show that in the video? <laughs> well, Dave, I hear you. Well, you know, that's what this whole video is all about. When we say doing whatever it takes, that's what we mean. We want each customer to leave thinking, hey, McDonald's did something special just for me. That's great. <laughs> really, I don't know how you do it. I mean, you've got to remember all of your lines and remember your actions <laughs> and still smile. <laughs> hey, from what you've told me and from what I've read in this script, our work is a lot alike. I mean, we're both performers. We have to remember a lot of things. We'll have to face an audience, and we both need to smile. <laughs> <laughs> now, the only difference is my audience is, is the camera and the director. And if I don't get my lines exactly right, I can do them over and over until the director yells, cut, that's a keeper. And then I feel as if I've done a good performance. But you, you only get one shot with each of your customers. Wow. I guess I never thought about it like that, but, but you're right. I mean, I've got to do all those things right the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh, And it's a great feeling when customers look pleased and say thank you. I figure if they smile at me and thank me, I've done a great job. And even if they don't, I know I gave it my best. Exactly. <laughs> okay, places, everyone. We're going to rehearse the lobby scene. Great, thanks. Okay, Gene, you're the customer. Mm -hmm. I want you to set your tray down and take a seat. Got it. And then just as she sits down, Lou, you show up at the grill, all right, okay? Uh, then while you're talking, this gentleman at the next table, right, folds up his newspaper, okay. gets up, and, uh, and leaves. This way. Right. All right. Then you go over and uh, clean off yeah, the table. Yeah, get the tray, right? Right, right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Everybody else just... Uh, Act natural, eating, talking with each other, <laughs> okay. having a good time. Okay, let's run through it one time for the camera. And action. Ma'am, here's your Egg McMuffin without cheese. Well, that was fast. Thank you. No problem.
And cut. Okay, looks real good. Any thoughts, Barbara, Lisa? Yeah, it was good, but it's missing something. I think... Well, what do you mean? I don't... Uh, you know, I see something that could really show the kind of doing whatever it takes we're talking about. Hey, okay. well, speak up. That's what you're here for. All right. All right, now, when Lou comes in with the grill order, the guy sitting at the next table should remain seated yeah. until... Here's your Egg McMuffin without cheese. Well, that was fast. Thank you. No problem. Oh, sir, can I take that tray for you? Oh, yeah, sure. Here you go. Hey, was everything okay with your big breakfast this morning? <laughs> yes, yes, it was. Have a great morning. You too. Thank you. Nice idea, Lisa. <laughs> Thanks. It plays. Mm -hmm. But, uh, come on, is that the way it really happens? Sometimes. <laughs> all right, all right. Not often enough. But that is what we want our people to understand from this video, right? That they need to look for situations where they can impress people with our service. And we need to use our heads. No, do whatever it takes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, we need to think of our customers at McDonald's like they're our own personal guests. And treat them that way, too. Mm. But you know what's a shame? What? You don't even get to see the real stars of this scene. What are you talking about? The grill team. Well, they're the ones who got that grill order out there so fast. What does the grill team have to do with service? Oh, the grill team has everything to do with customer service. You see, if they don't respond quickly in all situations, especially grill orders, then the counter people could never deliver the customer satisfaction we're shooting for. Mm. Everyone in the store has to do their part. It's the teamwork that gets the job done. Okay. Your total's 485. Right. Here you go. Out of five. Your change is 15 cents. Enjoy your lunch. Come back and see us real soon. I gotta get out of the car now. Don't worry about it. I'll have somebody else get it later. Here. Your order's ready at the next window and have a nice day. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. So what, what were you saying, Lisa? I wanted to talk to you about it. Sorry, I had lit that last. It just seemed like the right thing to do. Oh, no, it was great, really. Are you sure? Uh -huh. You know, well, that's what we were always trying to get our people to do. Think on your feet. Oh, yeah. I liked it. It was great. Yeah, Thanks. Really. It seemed to be a natural at this. <laughs> okay, everybody, this is the final scene, and let's make it good. This is the perfect service scene. Everybody know their business? Yep. Okay, places, everyone. Roll tape. Slate in. Take one. And action. Well, hi there. What can I get this hungry troop today? <laughs> Come in, my room so I get happy. That's right. And I get one, too. Well, yes, good for you. you. <laughs> um, a hamburger and milk here. And a cheeseburger happy meal with milk for Jennifer. Uh, and I'll have a six-piece McNugget with uh, sweet and sour sauce and a small Diet Coke for here. <laughs> I got it. Your total will be six sixty-eight. Okay. Lincoln, get a little money. Get a little money. Six sixty-eight out of seven. <laughs> I'll get it. Happy meal. Yeah. Happy oh, meal. I think Jennifer is hungry. That's right. I'll get the cups for the milk. Thank you. Ma'am, would you like a high chair or a booster seat with that? Uh, a booster seat would be great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Jennifer. And you call that girl? There you go. <laughs> well, now, Jennifer, you come back and see us real soon. And uh, I don't know your name. Peter. 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 Well, you too, Peter. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch, Thanks so much. I'll carry that for you, ma'am. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Ready, honey? Well, what did you think? Was that last scene the perfect service scene? It was very good service. But remember, throughout the video, there was always a way to improve the script, to ad lib something that turned the expected McDonald's service into complete customer satisfaction. And I know you can do an even better job than the actors because you know the system. You've got the power to make things better. If we rated what you just saw as A service, we're shooting for A plus service. 
the smiles, the friendly treat them as guests gestures. Let our guests know we're not just six steps and a smile. Our goal is to make our guests think, hey, these McDonald's people really care about me. And you know what? We really do. But we have to do it every time, even if it takes a little bit more time. When you notice a guest not getting that great McDonald's service, whether it's a quality problem, an error with their order, or they just need a ketchup packet, help them quickly. In doing so, in earning those smiles and thank yous and repeat business, we can make our jobs more fun. Now let's take another look at that last scene. Even though it may have been good service, there are always ways to improve on customer satisfaction. Look for ways in which you would improve our service. I know you can. Remember when it comes to customer satisfaction, it's okay to do whatever it takes. Well, hi there. What can I get this hungry troop today? We want a new slice of apple. That's right. And I get one, too. Well, yes, good for you. you. <laughs> um, a hamburger and milk here. And a cheeseburger happy meal with milk for Jennifer. Uh, and I'll have a six-piece McNugget with uh, sweet and sour sauce and a small Diet Coke for here. I got it. Your total will be six sixty-eight. Out of seven. <laughs> I'll get it. Happy meal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think Jennifer is hungry. That's right. I'll get the cups for the milk. Thanks. Ma'am, would you like a high chair or a booster seat with that? Uh, a booster seat would be great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. There you go. Well, now, Jennifer, you come back and see us real soon. And, uh, I don't know your name. Peter. Peter. Well, you too, Peter. Enjoy your lunch. Thanks so much. I'll carry that paper, ma'am. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Ready, honey? 